Hello everyone. Today we will understand that how does the force act when a current carrying conductor is placed in magnetic field. And this is the experimental setup for that. This is the current carrying wire and we have given a supply through the battery eliminator. This is a U-shaped magnet in which the current carrying conductor is placed in between. Now when I will switch it on, you have to observe carefully the movement of this current carrying conductor. It moved in because force has acted upon this current carrying conductor. Now let's understand that what are the factors affecting the force and how does the direction of force can change. This is the current carrying conductor and this is positive terminal. So current started flowing from positive terminal and then it goes to the wire from this side to this side and then completing the circuit. For the magnetic field, this dot, white dot is upwards. This means magnetic field lines, this acts as north pole of the magnet. So magnetic field lines are acting downwards. To understand that which direction the force would act, theoretically we use Fleming's left hand rule. Fleming's left hand rule, if we stretch our thumb, forefinger, middle finger such that these three are perpendicular to each other, in that case thumb represents force, this forefinger represents magnetic field and this represents current. To understand that, I have remembered it such a way that it acts as F, B, I. F stands for force, B is a symbol of magnetic field and I is current. So we are ready with our F, B, I. Okay. So here in this case, current is flowing towards this side in the wire. So my this finger is backwards. Magnetic field is pointing downwards. So magnetic field is downwards. So here my thumb is pointing towards this side. Now when I turn it on, you have to observe. The conductor also moved outwards. The force is acting this side. Now if I reverse the direction of the magnetic field and changing its direction, now this dot white dot is downwards and when I place it here, I change the direction of the magnetic field. Now let's see the change. The rod moved in because when we are saying that the current is in the same direction but magnetic field is changed. Now the magnetic field is upwards and the thumb is pointing that side. So when we change the direction of magnetic field, the force also changes its direction. The same way, if we change the direction of the current, it means if I change the polarity of these connections, if I connect this from here and this from here, direction of current will be reverse. Like if this case, the current is flowing this way in the another case, the current will be flowing that side. And when we are changing the direction of the current, thumb's direction is changing, means direction of force is changing. So direction of force depends upon the direction of magnetic field and direction of the current flowing through these wires. It depends upon one more thing and that is the angle which this magnet is making with the wire. Like if I take out this here, now this magnet is placed such a way. This magnet is along the current carrying conductor. It's not perpendicular. In earlier cases, it was perpendicular, but now it is along the wire. And when I moved in, there is no force because force does not act when these two are in the same direction. But if I place it perpendicular, if I place this wire perpendicular to it, the current flows perpendicular to the magnetic field and the force acts. So very important factor that magnetic field and current should be perpendicular to obtain the maximum force because it depends upon sine theta and sine zero is zero. So if these two are making zero degree angle, there will be no force and sine 90 is maximum. So when it is perpendicular, it is maximum. When it changes from 0 to 90, the field will depend upon, depending upon the factor sine theta. So this force depends upon number one, magnitude of the current, second, magnetic field and third, the angle between these two. Thank you.